Armon or Remote Monitoring. What is Armon? Remote Network Monitoring is the method used to monitor network traffic to identify issues. These issues can come as a result of anything from network collision and congestion to packets that fail to reach their intended destination. Armon provides network administrators with the ability to select network monitoring props with features that meet their business network needs. The implementation is usually found in the client and server models. The props contain Armon software agent that collect information and analyze packets. You know that, for example, in SNMP, we have SNMP agent and also NMS network management system and also MIB or management information base. You know that SNMP agent should gather information about the device itself, okay, and from the MIPS and after that with SNMP message should send them to the NMS. In Armon also, we have Armon prop. Armon prop, okay, is like the SNMP agent. And also we have Armon console. And Armon console is like the NMS, okay. Because of that, Armon prop should gather information related to the traffic, not related to the device, okay, from the Armon MIB. And after this gathering, the information should be sent to the Armon console. As you can see here in this picture, we have a network device. This is the managed device, actually. This can be hub, router, or switch, or some other things. And as you can see, the port of this device connected to the Ethernet network and also inside side of this device we have MIP and uh, this can be SNMP MIP or Armon MIP. In Armon, uh, Armon MIP we have multiple gr uh, groups of information that I will explain them. But as you can see Armon prop should use the Armon MIP or management information based information okay, to send to the Armon console that may be one part of the SNMP manager for example SolarWinds. Okay? I will explain more detail about about the, uh, for example, different categories of information that we have in the Armon. But before I talk about the Armon groups, let me to say that Armon has two versions, okay? Version 1 and version 2. We call Armon 1, Armon 2. Armon 1 is specified in the RFC 1757 and 2819, and it, uh, uh, it is working on layer according to the layer one two for example it can gather information based on the on the layer two address like the mac address and armon two that specified in the rfc 2021 and 4502 work uh, uh, on the layer three and layer four five six seven of the osi model it means that assume that you want to find the traffic from one specific ip address okay you can use Armon2, uh, for example, groups. And also, if you want to gather information related to one specific transport protocol or application uh, protocol, you can use Armon2. Actually, Armon1 and Armon2 uh, now uh, can give us information related to the traffic that pass from a device. You know that? SNMP gather information related to the device itself, for example, CPU usage, for example, counters on one interface, okay? But with Armon, we have more option, okay, for gathering information related to the traffic that pass from the device, okay? Here, you can see the Armon MIP here. We uh, have the OID, uh, ISO, organization, DOD, for example, internet management, and then Armon MIP. This is the Armon MIP. You know that this is the OID3. And in the Armon MIP, we have different groups. I will explain each of them. But here, as you can see, the Armon OID number is 1.3. Okay, 612116. Okay, ISO, ORG, DOD, Internet Management, as you can see, then uh, the MIB Armon. That's it. Now, let me to explain about the Armon a little more. 
ریموت مانیتورینگ اور آرمون is a standard monitoring specification that enables various network monitors and console systems to exchange network monitoring data. Okay. Armon provides network administrators with more freedom in selecting network monitoring props and consoles with features that meet their particular networking needs. An Armon implementation typically operates in a client-server model and monitoring device called commonly called props in this context contain Armon software agent. This is the Armon prop. Okay. And also should collect information and analyze packets. These props, okay, these props act as servers and the network management application means Armon console that communicate with them acts as a client. With both agent configuration and data collection, okay, use SNMP Armon is designed to operate differently than other SNMP based system, okay. Props have more responsibility for for data collection and processing which reduces SNMP traffic and the processing load of the client. What does it mean? It means that in SNMP, the SNMP agent should send information without processing to, to the NMS. But Armon prop actually should uh, uh, do analysis on the information and after that it should send them to the Armon console because of that props have more responsibility for data collection and processing which reduces SNMP traffic and the uh, processing load of the clients, okay? Information is only transmitted to the management application when required instead of continuous polling and monitoring. It means that only when we need this information, the information can be sent to the Armon uh, console. You, you know that Armon console is now is our client and Armon prop is our server. Okay. The Armon prop should gather information and when we need, okay, the process data should be sent to the Armon console. In short, Armon is designed for flow-based monitoring, while SNMP is often used for device-based management. Okay, Armon is similar to other flow-based monitoring technologies such as NetFlow and also SFlow because the data collected deals mainly with traffic patterns rather than the status of individual devices. Okay, you know that in SNMP, we gather information related to, for example, one specific uh, feature of uh, the device and we should send them to the NMS. But in Armon prop, we have information related to the traffic passed from the device, okay? And we should gather them, we should process them, and only when the Armon console need them or request them, we can send this information to the, uh, for example, Armon console. Or assume that you define a threshold for Armon prop when the threshold received, okay, reached, you can send the information, uh, the, for example, like the alarm or some other things to the Armon console. Maybe one disadvantage of this system about the Armon is the remote, is that remote device should more of the management burden should do more of the management processing and require more resources to do so. Some devices bal balance this trade-off by implementing only a subset of Armon MIP groups, okay? And because of that, a minimal Armon agent implementation could support only a statistics, history, alarm, and also, uh, for example, event. About the Armon 1 MIP, you know that now we talk about the Armon 1 first and after that I will explain the Armon 2. In Armon 1, we have multiple collected groups of information. Actually, we have 10 groups of information. The first is statistics. What is the statistics? As you can see in this Armon MIP, we have statistics, history, alarm, host, host top N, matrix, filter, capture, to events, and also a token ring. Okay. About the statistics, this is real-time LAN statistics like the utilization, collision numbers, CRC errors, and some other things. Assume that you want to gather information about the uh, collision. You 
here in the statistics we have this information for example we have a, lit, a, a, a specific number of collisions or crc errors or some other things here you can see the first collected group is the uh, hormone one groups actually is the statistics you know that each of them okay is a collection of information 